We decided that we would kind of just Jenny and I talk a little bit more intimately about, you know, trans stuff because, you know, we love Jay, but <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not trans. So can't really weigh in on the experience of a trans person. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Yeah. So we thought our listeners would probably prefer to hear mostly from Jenny and myself. And we thought, what better way to do that than to talk about it while playing video games? Our topics at the moment are going to be focused on our transition experience, you know, uh, like early days, high school, all the way up until now. Today we're playing Minecraft and talking about it, I guess. <laughs> That'll be fun. If we share anything that you relate to in some way, Let's hear about it. Like, I, I'd love to hear what other people in this life have experienced. Comment, like, and subscribe the video and let us know. Yeah. Give us your experience too. So I guess maybe we should open up the games. Let's get into the gaming part and, and actually get into this conversation. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into that. You want to, let's, let's start it up. All right, cool. Sweet. Let's start it. Let's get it started. Let's bring up the games. Let's game. Let's game it out. Gaming. Let's play with some blocks. Ooh, diamond horse armor. That's cool. Yeah, be careful. Don't, don't use my diamond horse armor. I can't do anything with it. <sighs> I, I need to collect supplies and stuff, so let's go down into the caves and get some stuff while we talk. What well, do you need? I guess I need to craft. I need to get like an axe and all that stuff. All right. Let's go get supplies, and we need more supplies. Here's some iron. Okay, we're starting off like, like for instance, when we were children, like where we came from from there. Yeah. Yeah, like you were a child before. Yeah, I was a child. <laughs> I was I a child, know, like, a confused were trans, one. Were trans people ever children at one point? No. Never. Like, well, they they act like we weren't. <laughs> we were never ever children. Which is crazy. No, we were just always like this. I'm sure everyone has a common experience when they're a lot younger. You know, like, uh, a, I would call it like early dysphoric experience. <sighs> um, yeah. I have, I have one as early as like four or five years old. And I know people that have um, same, like around the same age. And I know people that are um, around the same age when they um, experience that first dysphoric feeling. So I was wondering. And at did, the time, was, you you didn't you didn't know it was dysphoria at the time, correct? No, of course not. No one. I mean, obviously. Because that's what I'm just making sure we're on the same page. Yeah, obviously, I didn't know what dys dysphoria or any of that was because it was like the early 90s how uh what did you experience well for me uh my earliest experience was with my mom actually she used to take baths with me because i was like four mm -hmm. and um when i was bathing with her i actually what I remember feeling very, I guess, I stressed for lack of better words or emotional um, range or sorry. Um, let me reward that. Oops. 
didn't mean to do that. Planted a bunch of cherries. Um, Those aren't cherries, they're berries. Stop planting them right by the, the water. <laughs> <laughs> what well, my um so yeah uh when i was like f around like four my mom and i used to take baths together because i was you know i was a little kid she didn't want me to drown in the tub obviously and um i remember having a feel like a feeling of like stress or anxiety around the difference of what our bodies looked like and of course like back then I had no idea what this uh, what this feeling meant at all, but I just remember it being bad enough of a feeling to remember it today, you know. You don't so, you don't carry something you, from childhood like that and not remember. You remember it. taking showers with your mom and being like, "Well, this is confusing. Why is my body different?" And uh that that was my earliest experience as far as like um gender dysphoria goes as what i would label gender dysphoria now okay what about you i mean i i took showers with both my parents at, at different times i i don't know i don't remember being like confused by that at all or anything um i mean i remember being a dumb kid and and be like haha we're naked uh you know yeah but i didn't i don't remember experiencing dysphoria or discomfort in my childhood like early early childhood nothing really happened until i was like in my adolescence yeah like like sure when i was a child i i had like tried on different clothes and stuff like that's whatever I don't really attribute that to anything other than, uh, hey, I'm playing dress up. You know, my mom liked dressing me up and stuff. Yeah. So your earliest memory was was around, uh, like, around like the same age. Like 11 or 12. Oh, 11 or 12. Something like that. I, I, was, I was a teenager, early teenager, you know. Right, right. Because, like, you're not a teenager till 13, correct? Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> you know, I was, I was, I was adolescent. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was turning into, starting to slowly turn into an adult. Yeah, and I, I do remember. Here, we should like, uh, we should like dig or something. Come down my tunnel. Do you have a pickaxe yet? Nope. Go get a pickaxe. I don't remember how to build one. You need iron and wood sticks. Oh. Oops. Where'd all my... I have wood in these chests. I know it's a mess right now. I Until we actually have like an organized room for items. And everything's just kind of like everywhere right now. But I have wood. I have wood for you, baby. And then you have all the stone. You can make stone uh, pickaxes and whatever. I can make you a better pickaxe later when we when we find some diamonds. And we got this guy who can give us mending. So we can at least have self-healing tools now. So earliest memory for you. Earliest memory for me was in my adolescence. I I I distinctly remember hoarding female clothes. Um I don't remember specifically uh what was I gonna say? Sorry. No, that was fun. Uh, I was kind of like waiting for us to get down to the tunnel before I started talking. Oh, okay. Because otherwise it's, it's hard for me to concentrate. This is like a little intermission where you're building stuff. Yeah, pickaxe. All right, Yay, I have I another That's pickaxe. That's really exciting. 
Let's go. All right, we'll go down here. I'm kind of like, I'm starting to make like a tunnel to like get stuff and things down here. But yeah, I, I was, I was in my adolescence. I, I remember around that time I was, I was trying on different outfits and stuff. You know, I was, I was stealing, I was stealing my mom's clothes from the laundry room and I, I remember, um, I remember conversations about me always trying to grow my hair out and I was always getting in trouble with my dad because, you know, he wasn't going to raise some fairy, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I would, I would get in trouble a lot and be told that I had to get my hair cut. I remember pitching fits when I had to get a haircut. I hated getting my hair cut. I like having long hair. Yeah, me too. Like I had a long hair for a very long time. And then um, I remember when I was like, like around the same age, like, because I see I had a I had a sister that was like, you know, or I have a sister that is like, only a couple years younger than me. So I, I, I had this comparison of what I would basically look like if I was a girl all the time in my face. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I just remember being so jealous all the time of her clothes, her hair, everything. <laughs> oh, see, like I didn't have that. I, I had a brother, you know, so I was always same as you. I was that older brother role, but you know, I just, I just had my younger brother growing up with me and like, I, you know, I, I never conveyed any of this to him because at the time, you know, is I, cause I, one, I didn't understand it. I didn't know what trans was. I just thought, yeah, you know, I was just a weirdo. Same. You know, I, I think we all do. Like, Holy shit! Hold on. Can I interrupt you for a second? There's a giant yeah. slime here. He's really big. Oh my god! Ooh, I'm going to run away. Big hole. Yeah, like I'm sure a lot of us, especially back then, didn't understand. One, we didn't understand what we were going through, and then two, there was no resources to to help us understand. So it was even more confusing, you know. Well, I wouldn't say it's a matter of resources. It's that we we grew up in a in a in a, an environment where you know if we tried to talk to anybody, like yo, I I was wearing girls' clothes and it was making me feel pretty good, you know. There's also a very lack of resources in the '90s. Like there's I know, but our our problem wasn't a lack of resources because like everybody had a lack of resources back then. We didn't have like Google was barely a thing was a problem for all of us i'm just i'm comparing it to now where you know today it's you can if you feel this yeah, way yeah, you don't yeah. have to feel weird you can just google it right 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 i know but i'm i'm saying also uh we 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 grew up in a place where like we couldn't talk to anybody about that you know yeah definitely like, not on top like, of my only knowledge of anything trans related back then was snarky jokes that my dad or my one of my grandparents or some older relatives were making fun of, you know, the T word trannies. Um, I never even heard that word until I got older. I, everyone mostly said like cross dressers. Uh or transvestite, you know, what one of one of those uh and and it was always like in like a joke like ha 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 you don't want to be caught with that person you don't want to or or like it would be in reference to uh a a a bad thing happening to you if you went to the wrong place you don't you don't want to go there you might run into one of those lady boys you know like that's you don't go there to that town that's that's I think for my family, like, it wasn't necessarily, like, 
I don't know. My dad made some jokes, but I don't think he meant it in a very offensive way because he did have gay friends in high school and he himself uh, went to the Rocky Horror Show picture show cross-dressing. So um, I just, uh, I know that, I know that uh, I had a hard time expressing my gender identity and um, my... Um, you know, sexuality as I got older because I had a stepmother that was very, I guess I would say anti-gay. <laughs> Just by yeah. her behavior. It's It sounds like our, our dads were very, very different because my yeah. dad, very homophobic. My, my mom has friends from high school that came out as gay and my dad wasn't, comfortable with her even hanging out with them oh wow like he 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 just thought that they were gross people and you know and he didn't want that for me so he would always try his best to like steer me away from the gay you know yeah uh he failed <laughs> yeah failed so bad look at you now no, i'm kidding <laughs> Oh no, I just lost those diamonds. Oh, oh no. good job. You oh, just blew oh, no, up some mind. diamonds. It, no, it, they broke up in the diamonds. It wasn't a big deal. All was right in the world. Um, What was I saying? We were talking about how our fathers were different. Our, our Basically, our whole... Uh, the way we were both brought up was completely different. Because, you know, I... Like I said, I have... I, whoa, what's all this purple shit down here? Purple shit? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's like a it's like a shaft of like purple crystals oh, or something. You found, yeah, okay, so yeah, I was about to tell you I saw this stuff. Um to whatever you do, don't break the all the purple ones. There's a special type of purple scope here to the top. Okay. Get on top of it, it's easier to see what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, oh. we can start mining it out. There's a zombie. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh. Hit a kill. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I watched that. That was fun. <laughs> All your items popped out. <laughs> you just ran right into the lava. Oops. Here, I can, I can sort this out at least. Oh, did I lose diamonds? I don't. Did you mine any diamonds? Yeah, I did. Oh, they're gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, you gotta be careful around lava. I didn't see it back there. I only had two hearts left in the damn zombie. Yeah, we had different, but we had different uh, upbringings and it shows. As far mm -hmm. as like, I I definitely experienced a my gender dysphoria, possibly at a younger age, and maybe that's because of the fact that I had a sister, and and a mother, so I was you know, around women, like, all the time. My dad was always working. <laughs> huh. So I always had a, a direct comparison of what I wish I would have looked like, you know? Yeah. I just remember when I was really young, just going to bed, hoping at the time, too, because my family was, I was raised Catholic, um, Freaking praying that I would wake up uh, a girl, you know, just mm -hmm. wishing that I was born that way. It's an odd feeling. Um, I, 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 I remember experiencing times like that, too. I mean, it started with curiosity, obviously. Like, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what it'd be like to be a girl. You know? Yeah. And, that it started there and i kind of like put that in the back of my mind for the longest time you know because i i felt ashamed for thinking like that well also we're growing up so there's like there was probably so much more on our minds at the time <laughs> like uh friends video games i mean we're gaming right now but like what <laughs> like gaming was so much more like important to me when I was younger like 
oh, I, I can't wait to go home and play, get on games with my friends and stuff. There's so much more going on. And um, I yeah. think we, I think when, when we got to the, when we got to the point where, you know, when you get older, uh, we'll talk about our, you know, our, you know, college years and adult life and like right before we transition in a different episode. But, um, you know, it's it's a lot of until until you get to that point you're distracted. Yeah, yeah, you're you're distracted with you know, growing up, yep. and living life. But a lot of things happening, a lot of things did happen to me while growing up that were kind of like indicators that hmm, I wonder what would have happened differently had I had I you know maybe known earlier. Yeah. Because, you know, you hear trans people saying all the time, I would have transitioned if I had known earlier. Yeah, and I, that's, I wonder that too. I'm like, would I have actually transitioned if I was younger? I mean... Or if I would have known, like, was for sure younger, but I, I don't know, because, like... I probably would have been too scared uh, because of my dad. I think... Honestly. I think I would have been scared because of my family, too. Just because I wouldn't have wanted to lose them. You know, after, especially after what I've what I've been through, other than being trans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost all my stuff. Look at that. Yeah, you did. All right. So, yeah, it definitely sounds like we had similar experiences, but kind of contrasted. You had you had a dad that was a little bit more accepting than mine. Mine was very homophobic. I, I had a had, sister, you had a brother. I had a brother. I had a supportive mom who probably would have helped me through this had I, you know, had the courage to talk to her. You didn't, like, your mom wasn't present, and the one that you did have later on in life. Yeah, she, she was uh, She was abusive. Also very homophobic. Well... I don't know if she's homophobic. I just know she's she was very abusive, and then came off as homophobic. Well, what about your your younger experience with that uh that other kid? And that that's why I think she may be homophobic because when I was younger, I was exposed to um like porn, um on pay per view or something. I don't remember what it was on, but it was on cable. I remember. I had one of my friends over, mm -hmm. um, and he was one of my close friends. And we hung out for, we had been friends at this point for like almost three years, or no, two years, sorry. Um, I told him about it, be, that I found porn, and he was like, me too. Like, I've seen it too. I've seen stuff like that too. I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, obviously, we didn't know it was porn. And we were. I was telling him what I saw, and he was like, oh, I've seen something like that. Let me try it on you. And you were you were how young? I was like eight. Jeez. Yeah, and like you know, so for us, he he was just like I saw someone kissing another person's butt, and I, and I was like, okay, like as is tradition, whatever. Try try kissing my butt or whatever. And then you know, um, when he was doing that, my stepmom walked in, and so let's just say I never saw that friend again. So. I guess that is kind of an instance of homophobia. Yeah, because I mean, she she tried to do everything in her power to correct that behavior. She didn't she didn't even let you hang out with that kid anymore. Yeah. Like you never saw that kid again. Yeah. And then also there's this always this expectation of you know, especially since I was the oldest sibling and the only male of my siblings and my other two siblings were females like i have this like like they would they wanted me to be this strong person and i never was i was always like i was always a drama queen <laughs> you were a drama queen oh yeah i was the family drama queen for sure that checks out you you cry about so much oh Oh, I hurt my finger. Oh, I stubbed my toe. You are kind of fragile, 
also. So that makes sense. Uh, put me down. Stop picking me up. Uh. I, I'm a drama queen. I mean, I wouldn't call you a drama queen. Like you're, you're not, you're not starting drama. Like you're not a drama starter. No. Drama queens start drama. You don't start drama. You you react dramatically to something sometimes. Yeah, I'm dramatic. Whatever. Yeah, you're a little dramatic sometimes, but it's okay. I still love you. <laughs> love you too. So, we were. We were talking about our early childhood. I guess that kind of opens the door for like our high school years, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. We should definitely save that for its own little thing because I have many of stories to share throughout high school of my um, experience experiences <laughs> being confused <Yeah>. about my gender. <laughs> So I definitely remember being confused a lot and very explorative with uh you know my sexuality and I didn't really get to play a lot with my gender expression because you know I was kind of like I was afraid to and anytime I did anything out of the norm I was criticized and ridiculed. Yeah, well like I said we'll get we'll get more into that. Yeah, so we can we can talk a little bit more about our high school years high school years high school years on the next episode of high school years yeah sounds like a tv show like we were saying before we might not be doing this while gaming maybe next time we'll do like a go into somewhere nice set up in nature and have a little talk we're going to be exploring a little bit with our scenery options uh we're gonna try to see if we can do some of our episodes with jenny and i maybe out and about maybe out in like nature let us know what you feel about that and you know write it right in the comments below if you would like to see something different you know maybe a different game yeah you want to see us play a different game while uh while talking about being trans, then uh, you know, just leave it in the suggestions. If you have any questions for us, leave it in the comments. If you, you know, have any suggestions of activities to do while we're having these deep conversations, uh, like I said, leave it in the comments. Yeah, and thank you for hanging out until now. Until next time, I'm Nikki Sapphire. It's your girl Jenny Banks, and I'm signing off. See ya.